One of the biggest local races happening this year is for Hamilton County Sheriff. Yeah, that's right. The sheriff oversees, of course, the Justice Center and security at the courthouse and deputies on patrol. Add to that the recent protests pushing for law enforcement reform and the race is in the spotlight this election cycle. On the Democratic side, Charmaine McGuffey. Uh, she beat incumbent Sheriff Jim Neal in the Democratic primary. Her 33 year career with the sheriff's office was largely spent within the realm of the Justice Center. Bruce Hoffbauer is a Republican candidate. He spent the bulk of his 34 years in the ranks of the Cincinnati Police Department. We spoke with both candidates about some of the reforms protesters are demanding and what their stances are on no knock warrants. Both believe it's an important tool that should be used sparingly on drastically slashing law enforcement budgets. Both are 100% against it and on demilitarizing local law enforcement. Both believe law enforcement needs to be fully supplied with the tools they need. So what changes can you expect? Take a listen. I'm going to bring a citizens review board. I'm going to create a liaison unit. I'm going to create a human resource unit. I have already articulated with many of the officers in that sheriff's department some of the things that we're going to change and improve on. And I have talked about how we're going to professionalize the sheriff's office. I'm going to look at the budget, tighten up and decide what is necessary versus what is nice to have. I want to see and make sure all the personnel are in the right place. I will look at things like use of force, how that's reported, how that's handled. Gaining the trust of the community. The community has to have the trust of the police and the police have to have the trust of the community. Uh, we have much more on the candidates on WCPO.com. Plus, I am moderating a debate between the candidates tonight. You can watch that Sunday at noon as well as on the WCPO 9 app starting tomorrow at 11 a.m.